In this video, I'm going to be talking about arguably one of the worst events ever. Like, this is probably the arguably the worst event I've ever played. Honestly, I don't even know why 2K did this. This event was just a big L. Like, I played in the 3v3, and as much as I'm never in a 3v3 player, that was so realistic. I, if you watched the video, I, I was basically saying it was possible to finish number one if we played the 3v3 correctly. But this game... It doesn't matter if you're winning your games and you get you guys will be able to see like this it was so flawed. This was one of the most flawed events ever. Like it was <laughs> honestly the worst event I've ever played. This 5v5, they should just get rid of it. First of all, it was super laggy for some weird reason. That's that's one thing. Which that, that's not even the main issue. The main the main issue is just the fact that the game time, as you guys will be able to see later on in the video, the wait time to get into the next game, everything else. Now look, I'm not even trying to get into the 2K League, like who really cares, right? But Look, it's double XP. I'm trying to wrap up. I'm trying to get my double XP. I'm trying to hit level 39. Wherever I know I get to the 2K League, it's not really my problem at all. But as you'll be able to see later on, like, this stuff is so, so, so bad. Like, I... Pfft, I yeah, I mean, honestly, even if you played a perfect game, you're not going to win this 5v5 event. Because, as you'll be able to see later on, the wait time to get into a game is ridiculous. And the other thing as well, you you also be able to see later on in the video is... So, for example, my first game, I had a very, very good squad. And again, I'll show you guys later in the video. I had a very good squad in my first game. We were we were played we played perfect. We played perfect. It was it was great. But the thing is, as soon as the other team closed the app, like the whole team, not just one person, like the whole team closed the app, it kicks everyone out. So you could have great teammates, and then you have to find new ones. And that's exactly what happened to me. And I end up playing these guys that you're seeing in the background. Pretty much two games in a row. This is the second game I played them, back to back games. This was like the first hour into the thing. I don't know how I was able to get a full five. This is over running zone. Literally trying the hardest to, to, to get the game. But you guys will be able to see. Like literally, I, I didn't pause anything. I didn't skip anything. You guys will be able to see in real time how long it takes to get into a game. So for example, look, I got 28k on an L. So that shows you how well I played in that game. Even though we took an L, I still got quite a lot of um, rep for that, points for that game. Now look, I'm literally going to go back in. Trying to play again, and you'll be able to see. Look in real time how long it takes. This is a bear in mind. This is a an event where the whole game is playing, not just PlayStation. Xbox is also playing, so time is of the essence. At this point, look, it's over an hour. I've already given up anyway. Like I wasn't even trying to get into number one or anything. But as you able to see the difference, the difference between me and number one is like full. It's like over, bro. It's like over sixty k points. The issue is trying to get into a game is just impossible. Like, you'll be able to see, look, this is real time. This is me trying to get into another game. I'm telling you, this 5v5 event is so flawed. Like, if you're playing it just to get some rep, honestly, do it. It's it's not that bad. But if you're actually playing it to try and maybe earn some spot in, in the league or whatever, just forget it. Because, look, this is what's going to happen. This is, a, this, is, this is supposed to be an event for the 2K League, right? The games are supposed to go super fast. You're supposed to find teammates very quickly like i've been waiting for over a minute like i'm like no i'm out of this like you have to try and find your new teammates um because like you couldn't get a game look this is another sort of loading screen i'm literally not skipping anything this is real time loading bearing in mind guys are playing the games like, i don't even know how number one i don't know who finished number one i literally went to bed with like two hours left i couldn't be asked to finish the event but as you're able to see, this is a real time event. Why are like why aren't we starting a game quicker? This is supposed to be an event that's supposed to be a fair competition. Imagine I was number one right here and I've got to wait. Look, this is almost over a minute with no game. I still even can't get a full five. Like it's so <laughs> there's literally hundreds of people, thousands of people trying to play this this event. How can you not find five players to be able to load up? Look, it's still not starting. This is ridiculous. You're trying to win a game, you're trying to get into you know, you're trying to earn a spot. Even if I'm trying to get a 250k um, points to be able to get a 10k VC, I'm not able to do it because, look, I have to back out. It takes so long to get into a game. And if you think that's where that's one or two examples, look, this is going to be another example in a, a separate load screen, right? Bearing in mind, we've wasted about, what, two minutes, three minutes trying to get into a game. This is also not loading up. This is the biggest L when it comes to the events I've ever done. I don't know why the 3v3 was so much better than this event. Like, it, it just felt so weird. Like, again, the other team, I don't know how they were managing to just run a, a perfect zone with the guard sitting corner, power forward in the paint, center in the corner. I'm like, bro, it was the second game. How are you guys able to 
per like run a perfect zone. I don't understand. Like none of my teammates came to game chat once, so I don't understand how these low able to run the perfect zone throughout the whole time. But as I'm speaking, I am literally not cutting, skipping nothing. This is literally a real time event you're watching. Bear in mind, this is supposed to be a 2K League event with time is the essence, bro. Like you literally cannot waste a minute or two minutes. Um, otherwise, you're gonna drop like eight, nine, ten places. And look. I've waited like over three minutes combined in the video and you're probably thinking that's probably it. No, it is not. Like this is another loading screen. Like it's not a joke. This is literally the worst event. I don't know why it's like this, man. Like I don't understand. Like if you guys, you guys are making millions, bro. Right? Like for people buying VC, it's a, it's a million billion dollar company. Like, I don't know how much, but the company's making a lot of money to be able to fix basic server issues like this. Like guys can't even load into a game. How is this a fair like, it, this is not a fair competition at all because as soon as you lose one game, you're just in a bad spot. Even if you end up winning a game, I don't know how long it took other guys to get into a game, but I'm guessing from the, from what you're seeing right now, it probably took them a while to get into the game. So, I don't know, man. Honestly, this is the big, big, the biggest L event. They shouldn't, honestly, they, they need to get rid of this event. They need to get rid of this 5v5, go back to the 3v3. I'd rather have them have the 3v3 event for the rest of the 2k league stuff and just leave it like that because this 5v5 is such an L, man. And guys are quitting, bro. Like, they should have, like, a strict policy. Like, as soon as a guy quits, don't let him come back. Look, this is a perfect example. This is another team I played with. <clears throat> As you'll be able to see, we're up like, what, 20 to 9. The other team already closed that. Like, the whole team closed. I don't understand. It's literally a 10-point game. They all closed that. Watch what happens as soon as you lose the game. Uh, sorry, as soon as you win the game. They closed app, not our team. They closed app, and it kicks everyone away from the team for us to reset. And you guys have already seen a load time trying to get into another game, bro. Like, it is so bad. Honestly, the worst event. They need to pack up this event, bro. They just need to stop it, get rid of it. I don't know what they need to do, but this is... This is not it, bro. Like, I don't know what 2K was thinking when, when they when it came up with this event. Um, as you're able to see, look, I'm like 420. And I was I've been I literally queued in as soon as the game started. Like as soon as the event started, I queued in. I barely got into any game. Again, shout out to those guys. I don't know how they're able to get to those amount of points. I have no idea how they were doing it. Look, I couldn't even get a game. I couldn't get a game. And guess what happens when I try to leave? The game freezes on me again. Typical 2K. Like, bro, this is... And then I have to close it. As soon as this happened, I'm like, nah, that's it. I'm done. So for me, this is event is an L. They need to pack it up. Go back to the 3v3 or something like that. Because, yeah, man, this, this is so bad. But I know other people are probably pissed off. Yeah, I just wanted to... But my little frustration for you guys and that, that'll pretty much be it.